Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today guys we have a long, long, lengthy video. And today's video guys is we're going to be talking about everything that I want to see in multiverses in 2024. The little things, the big improvements, all that type of stuff that I feel like needs to be in it. And let's get straight into it. Now as you can see guys, for y'all that didn't know for the longest, this is an open beta the whole time. And they're finally shutting it down. Obviously they're not shutting it down for no reason. They definitely know... There's a lot of issues with this game, and that's why they're doing it finally, and I'm happy they're doing it. But pretty much what's happening is on June 25th, you cannot play this game online anymore, only offline. But don't worry, if you still want to put your friends offline, um, in the pro court of the multiverses, I will be having a park set um, channel for everybody to be playing with people online. If you don't know what that is, pretty much you're able to play with your friends um, in offline games online by like connecting to their PC. And I'll have a whole video about that around june 25th for that time and let's get straight into the video all right guys this is gonna be a very 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 long video we're talking about the little things the big things everything that's gonna improve this game for the release of the game and all the stuff that i'm i'm naming i pretty much want to see at the um day of the game re-release there's probably like two things that i could live without and understand that it might take a little longer but i would love to see all of the stuff that i'm stating in the game Again, this is just my opinions. You can have your own, and I would love to see what y'all have to say in the comments. But the first thing we're going to be talking about is the main main uh, main menu character change. I would love to be able to change my character to whatever I want and want to see when I load into multiverses. I think it's something very small and niche that I think everyone would appreciate. You know, getting into your game and just seeing your character be like, ah, you know, you get to hear them talking stuff. It'll be pretty cool. And I don't think the only time they should change this character for you is um, when you when they drop new characters, you know, to let you know, like, hey, there's a new character in the game. You know, I think that's pretty dope and pretty cool. Um, next, I would like to see is the main menu favorite modes. And now let me explain what this is. So pretty much, I like the UI of this, you know, the friend list, the, you know, announcements, the games, the, the little side stuff, and then this, right? But I feel like these modes right here kind of was just put here just to fill in the space, you know, because what does this do? This shows all the game modes and then this is like a, a quick oh, what the hell this is like a quick list you know but instead of it just being randomly whatever it is i would love to be able to put whatever modes that i want so for example when i go here i can favorite what modes i want so it's like a shortcut for me I, I, so i can have rank here i can have the lab here i can have customs and i can have something else instead of the lab thing you know and then if i want to play silly mode all the time might as well have it there instead of it you know having here so i could just jump straight into it i think that'll be a small healthy change for the game um thirdly a little bit improved is the friend list. I think the friend list is pretty cool and dope, especially that you have the refresh social panel in case it gets buggy or whatever happens and it fixes it. Dope, amazing. I think every game needs this. But another thing that I would love to see is to let us know what our friends are doing. So, for example, it says my online Steam friends, right? They're all online, but they're not playing multiverses. They're just online Steam. So, I think a cool thing that they should add is let us know what our friends are doing. So, for example, these guys, they're not playing multiverses. I like it to say playing um, another game or something you know something something small and niche and then people that are actually playing um multiverses i like to let i like the game to let me know what they're doing because there's many times where i have my friends online i'm inviting them and i'm, I'm pretty sure everyone else i've seen this but you're inviting them and they're not joining they're not responding because one there's no chat that's another thing i was going to talk about after this but yeah i would like to see them say oh they're in a rank match and tell me the stocks like oh it's 2-1 in stocks right now or at least uh, the matches, you know, if it's, oh, it's 0-0 right now, oh, it's 0-1, oh, it's 1-1, you know, oh, it's 2-1, you know, they're about to, you know, heading back to lobby, something, something like that. I think that would be pretty cool and dope. And then on top of the whole friend list thing, I would like to see a chat, bro. Be able to message my friend, hey, you want to play and stuff? And also a chat at the ending of matches. Now, I know they won't be doing voice chats because, you know, it can get toxic and this is like a young game, you know, E for everyone and all that type of stuff. Or is it teen? one or two but pretty much i get the reasoning not wanting to have voice chat enabled into your game but a chat with filters would be great just so people could connect with people like yo that was a great match yo i want to play with you that was, this was dope you know and again for your friends oh my friends online hey you want to play oh yeah sure man you know something very quick simple it doesn't going to be this big you know update changes up just a small little box where i could type to my friends and people um after matches would be pretty dope uh the next thing i have i want to talk about is customs I feel like this is one. This is the top two things I'm very disappointed about this game is customs. I feel like customs don't have nothing to it really. So for example, game modes. There's TV2s, free for all, and 1v1s. Or silly Q. If you don't know, the silly Q is like the fun game mode that you can play with your friends randomly and just do goofy stuff. They don't even have that in customs. Customs is supposed to be that mode where you play all the game modes even when it's out of queue. 
and you gotta remember silly q changes every time you know so they had the one where you do damage you get become big you could get a big head the valentino one with the heart blast the snowball fight with the icy winter thing there's like four or five different you know silly cues but i can't play any of the old ones in customs i would love to see that be added into customs you know i want to see every game mode that you've ever had in the game here where i can play with my friends whenever next thing i would love to see is more ring outs i want to be able to play 10 15 maybe unlimited if that's possible you know let me be able to just play until the time is done with my friend and not have to reset the game over and over because we're just practicing trying to get better or playing for fun or just testing stuff out another thing the timer 15 minutes awesome why not 30 why not unlimited until we want to leave the game or you know hit the quit button and stuff i think that would be pretty cool pretty dope allows us to just again go wild go crazy in the customs and do whatever the hell we want you know and learn stuff and find stuff out um another thing is i would love to see modifiers um like gravity change the speed and stuff start at a higher percentage and stuff you know just fun stuff that we can do in customs because why it's customs it's just to just goof around do whatever the hell you want and another thing i would love to be able to do is to play games um handicap so for example free for all if you don't know free for all you can't even play 2v2 uh two player or three player free for all you have to play four players you have to fill up the whole lobby which i don't think is necessary i think you should be able to just do what you want again it's customs let people have fun and do whatever they want same thing with 2v2s why does it have to be balanced teams if it's a 1v2 i, I it should say teams are unbalanced but allow me to start you see how it's allowing me to start but obviously it won't let me start because it's just gonna bug out which i probably shouldn't press the button <laughs> but yeah let me do a 1v2 with my friends and start the match and just again maybe again fun game mode i could play with my friends and 1v2 but yeah i just want to see more things to be able to be done in customs um next i have is map variations yes um i don't think this should be free this is just my opinion i would love to be able to have like maps to have skin so for example you know it to be raining effect snowing effect you know the map is dark i want to see it brighten oh the map is bright and i want to see it at nighttime stuff like that make it cost like 100 maybe 200 glenium and if you don't want it to be a paywall, you want people to be able to have access to it, then, you know, make it, you know, cost 2,000, 3,000 gold, however you want. But I think map variation was just open our eyes. Not open our eyes, but just make it feel like we're playing different maps, even though it's the same map. And then, obviously, I'd love to see more maps, but obviously, that's a given, so I'm not going to talk about that. But, yeah. Um, the next thing I would love to see, this is the number thing I'm very disappointed with, is the lab. The lab is just so underwhelming that it's very sad like for example this game has been marketed as a what a 2v2 game but yet you can't play the lab with a friend and practice stuff i think on release y'all need to um have a online lab i need to be able to play with my friends and learn combos do do combos and you know find stuff out with them and i think that is like a, a mandatory thing that needs to be done into this game like instantly um but yeah um the next thing is bots i would love to see bots get more um abilities and be able to do more stuff for example like brahala i'm not sure how much smash has but like smash street fighter literally just do the research obviously i'm sorry stop talking like this but pretty much you know whatever they have done into the lab kind of try to implement that into your game give us more options to do because again i'm not the biggest fighting person so i don't know all the options but i know di um uh, influences the thing and all that stuff be able to do that be able to um do recordings let them do uh, let us record the bot movement let them do certain things so we could practice something all that type of stuff we need that um in the lab so we could actually again practice learn stuff you know figure stuff out um another thing that i think needs to be improved are the bots the bots are a little bit too easy even on hard they're just so you know niche you know obviously this takes time but you know down the line i would love to see these bots get more improved and more difficult and actually feel like a challenge again for practice and stuff down the line uh next is a replay mode um i think a replay mode would be dope one it's awesome for the top players and just people that want to look back at their games and get better and improve and learn what they did wrong with their mistakes and then two as a content creator i would love to make cool edits and montage i think there's so many cool edits that could be done um with it with a replay mode especially like if it's like smash where you could tilt the cameras and all that stuff and i think other games could do it obviously but you know be able to do that and stuff and you could get cool different angles would be dope for videos and montages and that's something i would really love to be able to do 
um next is the settings i think they did a really good job with the settings um especially with neutral attacks and all this stuff i think this is awesome other games how you do your neutral attacks and stuff is you have to stand still but in this game they allow you to actually have a button for it so that's cool right but if you go to keyboard and mouse keyboard and mouse um, are able to have up attack down attack right attack left attack up special all that stuff this is dope i think this is amazing too but you gotta make it fair you know so i would love to see that be implemented also on controller i'm pretty sure they're working on it but again you know in 2024 i would love this to be actually finished and in the game um the only thing i have left in the settings or the interface uh again this is amazing did an awesome job uh the only thing people at least you know from people that i know has been complete not really complaining about but would love to see is a um is a color palette or, or a color wheel pretty much you know how it's like hashtag ff and then zero the numbers for a color i think that's what people want so they could get their their exact um outlines of whatever character they want over their character and yeah i think this would be pretty cool and dope but everything else is pretty you know self-explanatory this is pretty dope you know if you don't know what this is it's pretty much a way to play customs with st um, streamers and stuff without having to add them and you could just invite them instantly pretty dope and cool you should check this out if you don't know what this is um next is the events sadly i can't show you like this but i'll have a picture up and pretty much they, what they did for the events is they had you know where you get these type of tokens you know for christmas it was cookies for halloween it was you know candy corn and all that stuff and i think it's a pretty cool thing two things that i would love to see be done one allow all the skins to be able to get um get through by getting all the tokens so for example for some of the skins they cost it about 12k or 14,000 um you know tokens whatever the um the exchange was for that skin right and then the rest of the skins or whatever was be able to bought by glenium how about we allow everything to be bought by glenium and um the whatchamacallit the the tokens so for example how about like for example there was uh the winter the winter skin right the the hot not the winter skin the the yeah the winter skin where you know aria and all of them had this skin let it be able to be bought with the tokens and gladium so let's say it's like 15,000 or 16,000 you know if you have to increase it increase it but make every skin be able to be bought if they put the time and effort of playing the game for that long or you know if uh, pfg doesn't see um that as viable allow it to be limited so for example um there's always two free skins that you could get by just playing by getting those tokens and getting it and the rest are gladium how about you allow us to buy the first two skins with those tokens whichever one we want and the rest by gladium because there were skins like for example um the the winter one there was a superman skin that you could only get by playing the game what if you're a busy person but superman is your main and you can't get them because guess what the game is not allowing you to buy it with gladium it's telling you hey you have to play it maybe you know allow all of us uh, you know allow people to buy what they want with gladium and then let people get the first two skins that they want with tokens and then make the rest gladium you know so it's a win-win on both sides i think that would be pretty cool and pretty dope um next talking about skins let's go into the skins i think skins need different colorways i think it's cool that we have skins but to make it feel more unique and different allow us to have different colorways on skins right now so for example i'm going to show it in customs how it kind of looks up customs i mean let me go to the lab so i can show you what i'm talking about so for example um all right, i'm gonna use uh, aria as an example because i think aria is the best way to show off all the skins that she or colors she has so for example uh, when you're playing and I have the colorway on, right? I have a green sweater and go into interface. If I take the, the what is it called? The character colors, right? I turn into a normal skin. How do I do this? Where's the home button? There we go. Look, now, now, now my sweater is a whole different color, right? Now, if I, again, turn it back on. Uh, bam. And then I had other arias. And then I have a teammate Aria. You see how we're all different colors? I'm green, my teammate's blue, and keep and my and my enemy's red. I want to be able to choose what color I want. I think this would be dope and again a cool thing to be able to do with skins. Instead of just being able to buy a skin and that's it, I can have different colors of the skin. And I think it's fine that we pay extra for it. For example, um, it could be a hundred gladium. Um, or you could choose to pay a thousand or two thousand gold for a different color of your skin that you already bought You know, I think that'd be pretty cool pretty dope and brings diversity to um, The characters, you know, it's like, okay, we all have the same skin But guess what? I have a red version of it. I have a blue version I have a pink version black version white version, you know stuff like that make it up to like 20 colors or whatever and so there's you know It's more stuff to do and again more stuff to do with the gold I feel like there's not a lot to do with gold right now, and I think that'd be a cool thing to do um next 
I think I could talk speak for everyone for this one. Guilds. Please do not let guilds only be a clan tag. I don't think we we want guilds to feel like something. We want guilds to feel like a not say a job, but feel like something worth getting on. So I would love to see some PVE and PvP stuff. I want to see guild battles or whatever the I have planned for PvE in guilds. And I also want to see PvP stuff. I want to be going against other guilds for stuff, you know, fight each other and whatever for points and this leaderboards and all that cool stuff for stuff. And again, let us use the go to do something within the guilds to increase something. I don't know, XP packs for the team, for the day, for the stuff. Let us use our gold for stuff in the guild. Make it fun and have a blast. Like I said, for example, we could do guild bosses. You know, what guild is the most damage to the boss and da 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 da. You know, in X amount of days and then this team gets a reward and then, you know, X amount of guilds get a reward and, you know, stuff like that. Make it feel like a guild where it's actually feel like, yeah, I want to be in a guild versus. I get a clan tag. No one wants just a clan tag. We want to feel like we're in a guild and doing stuff within the guild. You know, I think that would be pretty cool and pretty dope. Um, next is the career stats. I think this needs a nice rework. For example, yeah, I used to have damages. I used to have a million. I was going for two million, and then y'all yeah, updated it, and y'all yeah, took it away. I think I should bring that back. And then also, y'all yeah, should remove um, the, char the not character, the normal leaderboards. It's time for it to go. We have rank let the normal queues be for the for the casual let them have their fun let them not have to worry about a ranking and losing mmr and all that stuff that's not what normal queues are normal queues are just to have fun so you know all this could be removed put your damage back here put other stuff here put your top three characters maybe something like that um but what i do say is instead of having a normal leaderboard change this into a character leaderboard for rank because right now you know again you have a leaderboard for customs that i mean customs for normal queue that again should be removed because we have rank now if you want to play competitively or have a leaderboard play rank um but for example we have character ranking in ones and twos um so i think you should remove this for character leaderboards and then have it ones and twos and then you select um you know what character you want to look at and then you can see like the top 50 top 100 or just show a leaderboard of everybody and then have like a tab where if you want to see your friends rank you can click that and see your friends rank and then and obviously you can just load all the you know rankings and see everybody and see what people ranks are in in um, the leaderboards of characters in rank so you know pretty much what it would be it would just show rp of how much rp you got in rank with this character you know so it would be that type of leaderboard i think that would be cool and dope um i think that's pretty much it yeah make make normal queues just normal queues you know diverse the, the level groups like if i'm level 42 don't let me play anybody under level 30 35 maybe and then you know for the new players let them only play people ranging from level 1 to level 10 maybe 12 you know keep them in the same boat type of area you know all right next we have rank and this is gonna be low-key a long talk so i think this is awesome i love the tier list i love the mastery the grandmaster awesome i also like the decay the whole 30 points 60 point or not the 30 points 60 points losing per day after three days of not playing and i know a lot of people are saying damn 60 points a lot every day by not playing I think this is is gives us pur purpose to play the game and not like try to dodge and be like oh I'm at the top I don't need to play anymore so you know this is awesome um I was thinking about talk I, I was talking about um adding like a like a AFK pass to to increase it like maybe two to three more days so for people that do be on vacation or don't have time to play all the time they still could use gold or gleanium to buy like an AFK pass so they don't have to play a little bit longer if they're gone. But after, but make this limited because obviously people will abuse it and just like buy a whole bunch where they don't have to play for the rest of the season, or whatever. You know, make it like two to three days and then give them like a week cooldown so they can't buy anymore. And again, bro, it is 72 hours. If you can't sit down for five to ten minutes to play one game in 72 hours, then you gotta take the L and the 60 RP. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Um, but next thing I would like to see is I would love to see the rank leaderboards be up to Grandmaster. I had friends I was talking to, and they think they should just be an ongoing leaderboard, which I don't mind either. But I think the bare minimum it should be top 100 because right now it is what only top 25. Yeah, top 25, and it shows your friend list, like everyone in your friend list. I think it should be top 100. Your Grandmaster. Grandmaster is top 100 at least show the top 100 grandmasters and then you can go to your friend list or like my friend said Just allow it to be you know a list going down the list and then you can have a tab where you can show your friends You know, that's it. I think that would be pretty cool and dope um, The next thing was uh, Esports um, so I think a cool thing would be would we do um, for rank to make people want to play it more is have an end season tournament I think that would be dope. Obviously this will only be for rank 
um, their normal esports, you know, when they did four showdown and stuff, let that be open to everybody, let them, you know, be open to all levels. But I think a cool end season to give people a purpose to grind rank, you know, top 256, top 512 gets to participate in this tournament. You got to be top, you know, whatever. And let that be an end season tournament every every season. I think that will give people a reason to play rank and not that, oh, oh, I'm, I, there's no point of playing rank. Now there's a point. You, you get to be put, you get invited to a tournament that's based off of your seating. Whatever whatever place you get um, ranked up is your seating. All that stuff, I think that would be mad cool and mad interesting. And then finally, tournaments. I would love to see in-game tournaments. Valorant is doing it. Rank uh, Rocket League already did it. And I'm pretty sure more games are going to keep doing it. Um, I think having in-game tournaments opens the door to more participants in these tournaments because um, the reason why a lot of people don't play in tournaments isn't because they suck or they feel like they can't hang. It's because it's not it's not convenient for them, you know. They don't want to, they, one, they don't know where to look for tournaments. And two, a lot of people don't want to go through that hassle of looking for tournaments. But if you have something that's in-game where you just click and join, a lot of people are going to just click and join. Because why? It's at their convenience. It's right there in their face. They're like, sure, why not? I'm already playing the game. Might as well participate. And that will increase the um, entries of people wanting to play the game and stuff at, um, at a high level or try at a high level. And then, you know, you could give out rewards by participating and all that stuff. And obviously, I think at the beginning, it should only be official events. Down the line, when it gets more fluent and easier, they could do third-party people that wants to um, have access to it. And then finally, the end goal should be like Rocket League, where anyone can make a tournament. So it could be funsy with your friends and stuff. Being pretty cool and pretty dope. Um, Next we have is more game modes and the number one game mode i'm going to talk about that that should be in this game on release i'm not going to lie because i would love to play this on the side just for fun is you guessed it what map do we have that is so unique than the others the court bro we literally have the court lebron's map here basketball make that into a game mode let every character just be lebron and you just played basketball you know 2d like nba space jam or whatever the hell it was called or if you want to be a little more in depth, make all the rows matter. So, for example, if I'm a bruiser, let me be able to handle the ball a little bit longer when people try to steal it. If I'm an assassin, let me be able to run faster with the ball or whatever. You know, stuff like that. Let them let it be a little more unique. And if again, if you don't want to be a little more unique, then just let everyone be LeBron. Call it a day and just give us a cool mode to play with our with our friends and stuff. You know, I think that would be pretty cool and dope. Um, another game mode that I have in mind would be like go karting. So I'm gonna you know, have a video in front of y'all right now. But pretty much, um, what is it called? Mortal Kombat had a race car game, a race car mode in their fighting game. Obviously, this is probably a little bit too much for them, possibly, especially late notice like this. If they're you know, if you're watching this video, um, but you can do something like what Pumble Party had, where it's like a 2D racing thing and there's like different tracks. I think this is perfect. Literally like this, just show your character driving and stuff, and call it a day, and it will be something that feels unique to the game where it's like i'm not only fighting i get to race my friends i get to play basketball with my friends i get to do soccer all this other stuff you know because i feel like the whole game modes that fighters do are kind of just so bland and ish and just like so basic it's like you know it's like the normal what beat em up type stuff or the bots and all that stuff it's like this will make the game feel different like oh i'm playing a whole other game you know in within the same game and yeah, I, that's just how I feel about game modes. And obviously, you know, you can still add your silly modes and your basic game modes. But I definitely want to see like some big, unique modes like this in the game in the future. Next, I would love to see is arcade be improved. Obviously, it's going to be improved. As you can see, this is version 0.1. So they already plan to make it better. But man, at least make it. Why is rank here? Interesting. I got to talk to him about this. <laughs> you see this. But yeah um let 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 um let it be you know more rewarding like for example um the stars right you see how, how these stars are here this is because i beat the game on hard or beat arcade on hard on these characters allow this to be seen universally so like when i go into like normal queues like stuff like this i would love to see my badges you know especially me being a streamer and a youtuber i think a lot of people will also appreciate that because as a streamer you want people you want people to see like oh i did do arcade on this and i beat it on these characters but the only way to see it is by playing arcade i would love to, to be able to see it by just again just being queued up not just only be able to see it here and i also did it in um twos too so i'll show you my badge because that's another way that you could kind of show that you did it is with your badge because you see i've be completed 11 times on hard one, two, three, four, five, six. That means the other five are on or in twos, and guess what? It doesn't even show that. I would love to see a star ones and twos right next to it throughout all the time when I pick my characters because why? This is something cool and something needs to show off. Like, hey, I did this, you know? 
or next to my my name or something i don't know i, I think it would be pretty cool um and also i know again it's gonna be improved give us some rewards give us like a animated stuff or or again like give us a skin uh when you beat the game on hard obviously it shouldn't be on easy normal you could probably give us like a, a icon a banner uh, yeah icon for easy a banner for normal and then on hard you get a, a character skin and obviously if you beat it on media um normal you get the icon from easy and normal and then if you beat it on hard you get all three stuff like that just stuff like that G give us a reason to play you know and make it like a, a unique skin for all the characters so like you could kind of make the outfits like look gamer gamery like an arcade type and that's the skin like everyone will have like an arcade type of skin just something so basic that people would appreciate to say hey i did this arcade stuff you know to show it off, you know, give give us a reason why we should play arcade, and then you know after after that, you know, if you beat arcade multiple times, you could gain more gold, 150, 100, 200, you know, stuff like that. I don't know if people want to farm gold and stuff, they could just do that for funsies. There's more stuff to to give us a reason why we should play arcade. The next thing I would love to see improved, my lord, is the perks. Guys, these perks are just not it right now. As a top player or a person that plays this game a lot, these perks, I'm not going to lie, PFG, are very useless um, or very um, repetitive. For example, everyone uses triple jump. It makes sense. Cool. I understand that, right? But even then, the other two perks everyone uses are just cooldowns, maybe some, some slippery customers, barely any of these. I would like to see these improve. Um, if y'all want to see, I've made a document of all the perks that I would love to see improved and how I wanted them to be improved. Just in my way, obviously, you know, they don't have to follow it. But even then, I still want to be improved. So many perks are useless. Like, this is a good perk, but as of right now, it's just not used. Even this one, get all your um, air options back. Again, just not being used that much. But it's still good, so those are fine, right? But stuff like this, 5%, 10%, does nothing. This is fine. This is terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm happy they nerfed this one. That's fine. <laughs> um, terrible. Been awful since the beginning of the game's time. Crypto skin, 4 damage, 6 damage. Increase this a little bit, you know, make it feel more worth it. The, the whole back-to-back -back is bad too, like increase it. That's barely 1% of damage being removed, you know. Let them just feel more useful, you know. But that's just my opinion on the perks. I, I think they just need to be improved. And I would love to see more perks, you know. So I have a whole document of all the changes that I would like to see. And, you know, hopefully y'all read it and see if y'all agree or, you know, you can see more improvements. But, yeah, I would love to see perks be feel more useful. I want to I wanna feel like, damn, do I want this perk against these people? Do I want this perk against these people? Versus, all right, triple jump. Nah, I feel like running these two same perks. Uh, Maybe this perk. I promise you, there's like six perks everyone uses. I would like to see more changes on, on that. Um... Next is the improvement on character levels. I think I did a great job at the beginning, right? But I kind of felt like, yeah, I cut the, the corner too early. 15 is too short. 15 should be like the middle ground. I think 30 is like the real mastery of a character. And I would love to see, you know, more levels and more rewards, you know? Even if it's gold, maybe even gleanium down, down the line, like 100 down, down the line. But another thing I would love to see are banners animated banners animated profile icons animated skins um there's a, a a fan made thing where after you get a certain level you become like this black and blue skin i'm gonna try to post it if i remember it but it was like this cool dope skin that all these characters get at a certain level and i think they should add it um obviously i don't think they should add that one because that one was kind of taken from another game called guilty gear or something like that but again you can have your own style of art when you hit level 30 level 35 i want to feel like i'm that level you know right now it's just like oh he's level 33 oh he's level 35 cool that's it you see a number i want to see a skid or i want to see an animated banner behind him that kind of pops off like i'm level 30 and it's like oh you're level 30 you know get, get that oomph going but right now it kind of just like doesn't feel like anything i would love to see more rewards like i said animated banner animated icon animated skit something just to make it pop off um and then finally i think i can speak for everyone on this it's a story mode. I would love to see a story mode. And this game is already free to play, so I'm not expecting the story mode to be free. I will pay $15. I'll pay $20. I'll pay $25 for a dope story mode um, that gives us exclusive, you know, banner skins, stickers, and all that stuff. And that's another thing I want to talk about um, at the end. I'll, I'll just bring that up at the ending. But, yeah, I would love to see a dope story mode. 
let it be like a scroll wheel game a scroll wheel story mode like how smash did it back then or e or like how mario is you fight little enemies and then you run up to the boss and you fight them like a normal match i think that would be pretty cool and, and dope um i don't want to do the whole level clicking and just playing the boss level clicking playing the boss that's boring boohoo you know give us little mini games give us little fun things to do and make sure it's co-op dialogue storyline come on you have all these characters you have a dope universe and you have untouched stuff that you can make into millions millions of stories and how they got here and all that stuff and i know you got a story writer so i know something like this already planned but i like to see an actual game mode of it too just as fyi <laughs> but yeah um uh, and then finally i i just remember this because i actually do want it to be more useful let the stickers right allow us to use the stickers in game and not have to stand still give it like a 10 second cooldown or 15 second cooldown after using it so people can't spam it but when i click a sticker i want to be able to move around you know I, I should be able to do like a a kill and then or, or like a save like say my teammate saved me i could pop this up and i could still be fighting and it's over my head for like two to three seconds and then it goes away and then it's on cooldown for like 10 to 15 seconds doing stickers and forcefully having to stand still kind of just feels useless it's like why would i do that when i could just do a whole emote you know i'd rather just emote if i have to stand still i think stickers should be you know me moving around type stuff you know like 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 that you know it's like oh almost died you know oh shoot you know stuff like that if i had to stand still i feel like it's useless i would love to be able to move while using stickers and just give it like a 10 second cooldown so people can't spam it throughout the match and then guess what you can also have a setting where you just don't see stickers for the whole game that's it <laughs> but yeah that's all the changes I would like to see in multiverses. Obviously, not all of them is like mandatory, but I think a lot of them are definitely healthy for the game and makes people want to grind and play it more and all that and etc. But that's it for the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment anything. You know, I love y'all comments. I would love to see y'all comments and what y'all would want to see in the game or improve or if y'all agree with me or disagree with me and stuff. And if it's the first time you're watching one of my videos and you do enjoy multiverses content, hit the subscribe button, guys, because 2024, I'm going crazy when the games come back. I'm out, guys. Peace.